Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Agnes and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a few items that I feel like if you're ready to start your YouTube channel in 2023, a few things that you may need to get started. The first thing that you're gonna need to start your YouTube channel in 2023 is a handy dandy notebook. And I feel like a notebook is essential. Sometimes if you're really tech savvy, you can put certain notes on your phone, but I'm the type of person, I feel like anything that's tangible that I can hold on to and not just like my phone that has a lot of distractions um, can work out. Um, you can use a notebook to write down different video ideas, different points that you want to make in each video. And it's just a great way to kind of sort out your plans as far as like for recording and all of that. So the first thing that you need, I think, is a planner or a notebook. The second thing you would need, this is really, really essential, is a laptop. So this is my MacBook Pro. And most MacBooks do come with iMovie for free. And to be honest, before I did use Final Cut Pro, but iMovie and Final Cut Pro is kind of similar. It's just fun and Final Cut Pro kind of has a little bit more things that you can kind of like change up or different editing um, systems and styles. I just feel like just with the regular iMovie, you will be able to really get really good quality videos out there. If we are going down to the different things that I use to record, there's two things that I use to record my YouTube videos. The first one is what I'm using now, which is the Canon G7X. Um, it's kind of new. Um, well, not kind of, but I, this is the latest thing that I had gotten on top of what I usually use to record, which is my handy dandy iPhone. I know you guys have heard this over and over and over again, but I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max and before this I had the 12 Pro Max and that's what I was using to record. In the beginning I thought that I needed to have the best of everything to get the quality, but you just have to start from somewhere and to be honest, the quality on these phones guys, the quality on these phones are almost equivalent or same or sometimes even better than some of these cameras to be honest. So what I regularly do is I will record a video on my phone, right? I record the video on my phone and then I'll airdrop it to my laptop. Now when I airdrop it to my laptop, I just take the video and drag and drop it into the editor for iMovie. And I just edit there, I add my music, I do my cuts and pastes and all of that good stuff, and then I go ahead and I upload. To be honest, when I had my old MacBook, my processor was a little bit slow because my laptop had so many things on it, but this new laptop, I believe this is the 2022 MacBook Pro. It has like a faster processor, so like my videos kind of render like this. Okay, it doesn't take that long, but on my old MacBook that had so much things on it, it took forever for any of my videos to upload. And to be honest, sometimes I'm waiting hours for just one video, sometimes not even up to 20 minutes to load up, but this one, it just, it just goes like this. So I know that some people that don't have editing software on any type of computer that just use their phone, I know that they use this app right here. It's called CapCut. And I use CapCut for other things, but CapCut is really, really good. I believe I use CapCut for my intro, okay? And if you guys want a tutorial on how I did my intro all on my phone, just let me know and I'll try and make that happen for you guys. But I did all of that on my phone on CapCut. There's so many great things that you can do on your phone, especially now with the new updates and everything. It is superb, okay? Save yourself some money. You don't need to go get the most expensive editing tools. This is all you really need. Now, there's some extra things that you can get to kind of enhance your videos. This is a mobile phone LED light, guys. This is the GOAT. I saw this on TikTok, and I know a lot of people be like, TikTok made me buy this. Yeah, TikTok made me invest in myself, okay? Because this is the light right here. And when I edit, or when I record, since I record this way, I clip the light right on my phone like this, right? And then I click this button. Girl, don't fucking follow me. 
all right sorry <laughs> you know it was really trying to play games with me but yeah so i click this button and right now it is i don't know how to show you without okay so if i turn it this way i don't know but it has different settings so i can make it brighter and i can make it dim a little bit more okay so this is the lowest it would go and this is the the highest it would go okay so it has different settings i think this is a setting which is like warm lights this one is mixed with warm and um cool tone lightning and this one is just like the white light and this one is the yellow light so you can like play around with that but guys like the lighting is great i sometimes just slip this in my purse just in case i want to get any type of content for any reels outside and i'm not taking my camera with me and it does really make a big difference like if i put this right at the top of my camera this is what you're looking at right now okay it just kind of brings in some color and this one is both the white light and the cool light together Oop. This one is just the cool light and you guys can tell the, in the difference in my skin tone. This is just the cool light, okay? And I'm looking up at the viewfinder. This is the cool light. This is the yellow light. Ooh, bringing out that melanin in my skin. Ooh, yeah, that is what I'm talking about. So it just bringing out everything in my skin. And guys, this is a great investment. I am going to list this, let me turn it off. I'm gonna list this um, down below just in case you guys do want to pick it up. It's on Amazon. It came probably really quick. I have Prime, so yeah. So sometimes you can hold it. It does come with the clip, but you can also take it off. Inside the box comes like this. You do get the clip, you get the light, and you get this thingy right here where it allows you to screw it onto like a tripod and it's on both sides, right? So you can use it on both sides. Um, you can screw it onto a tripod and just hold the light while you know you have your camera or any other tripod holding your camera or you holding your phone. It's just a really, really good buy. Um, it is a little pricey. I think I bought it for like almost 30 or $40. No, 30 something or $40. I'll list it down below, but is it worth it hell yeah i feel like it's worth it because of the brand i knew that you know it was a good buy for one it's newer and i really am very happy with newer brands newer is the same brand as my ring light which my camera is on right now and if i turn on that light like you guys can already see the difference okay okay this is too much light but i'm not using the ring light right now but i also use a newer ring light so i knew that the quality was going to be good so this is kind of like a on the go ring light box light okay just go and get it because it's good it's really good now of course i'm not going to be going out with like my whole tripod you know my huge tripod or my my ring light tripod i went ahead and i have a you know on the go bendable tripod that i also got from amazon and to be honest this is really good i can curve it around any object it kind of stays and it's very very sturdy you could tell that this is good quality and sometimes when i vlog i take this with me and it is really good it's not heavy at all and the thing is ooh, ooh, did i break it oh look at that i just popped it off and I, it popped right back in. Versatility. <laughs> Look at that, okay? Because I was about to return this and get a new one, but the way that it just kind of fixes itself, I really, really like that about it. And if I'm carrying like a small bag and not a long bag, I could kind of just curve it and just put it in my bag. So like, it's very moldable, and that's what I really like about it. But this is like an on-the-go tripod that is really, really good. Earlier on, when I did go to Ghana, I had this tripod with me which was like a phone tripod and this one i would say was a good investment as well this tripod looks like that it's by the brand art artful artful i'll list everything down below it comes with a remote right here uh, which you connect via bluetooth onto your phone and this light right here you charge it 
right? You charge this tripod and it opens up like this and it stretches out so your phone can fit in right there. And you can just record like this, holding it like this. This is what I had before I got this one. Okay, and this one is, you know, foldable and you can kind of put it anywhere, but this one has length on it, okay? This one has length on it, so you can just sit it down in front of you, right? And it kind of goes down like right here. Put your phone in, connect it via Bluetooth, and this is how I would take pictures by myself when I was in Ghana. Like, I would just take pictures all the time. So this light is not as bright as the newer um, box light that I have, but it, it's okay. I feel like, you know, you taking pictures during the day, it's really good for it. Um, but at night, I feel like you would need a little bit more light than this. I believe this is also dimmable. So it has like different, um, it has like different settings and you can get to the different settings by, okay, it's not gonna focus, but there's a button right here. You guys probably can't see it but you click it and it changes you know the different uh levels or the different lights I, I believe it has white light and it also has yellow light what i like about this is there's so much versatility like i can turn um and make make it like this if i'm not shooting a video that's horizontal if i want to do a vertical video i just turn it like this for my reels and guys this is a really good buy and to to just like pack it away you just close this right you turn it you turn it back and then you fold it, you kind of will, if you have it extended, you just kind of push it together and you're good to go. You can just like slide it into your purse or whatever you're using to hold it. Um, when you do open it up, this right here pops open and that's how it stands, okay? And that's how it stands. I wouldn't say this is as sturdy. I feel like you just have to be careful not to break it, but it is a really good buy and it does last for what it is for. So that's one thing that I would say is maybe like an essential, especially if you do more vlogging or if you guys take pictures and stuff pictures. This is just something that I knew that I wanted, so I kind of got it. I will list everything down below. So that is, it is called a Fill Light Selfie Stick Tripod, okay? So y'all, it's gonna be down below. Last but not least, okay, for my videographers or my recorders or my youtubers that are going to be using their phone i feel like this is really essential you don't need it okay i just want to tell you you don't really need it but if you want quality quality you need to you know try and get this um i actually saw one of my followers on instagram use this and i was kind of intrigued i watched a few videos of people who do have it and it is this wireless microphone okay this wireless microphone, it comes with two mics, okay? Two mics and an insert that goes into your phone, okay? So basically, you take this, you take this right here and you plug it into your phone. And guess what? If your phone is charging while you're using this, great, you can still do that because they have this little part right here that allows you to charge it. So you plug this in and it comes with two of these, right? Two of these with this clip on it. They give you one replacement clip just in case this clip gets lost. But if you don't lose it, I mean, that's just something that you might just want to keep and, you know, store away. And it's all connects through Bluetooth. So you, you turn this mic on and you all you have to do is just clip it on yourself like this. And you just talk regularly. Now, if I have somebody else that's going to be coming on my channel, which you guys want to see them soon um, when I do like, you know, little TED Talks. Yeah, I'm going to have them wear the other mic, but you just plug this in, turn it on. You know, you do your vertical or your horizontal and then, you know, you just get going and you have really crisp audio. And that is the last thing that I recommend you guys to get to start your YouTube channel this year in 2023. If you guys liked any of the items that I had listed, I will have them all listed down below in the description area. If you guys like the information that you guys got from this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Guys, tell me how I'm doing, okay? And if you guys have any of these items that I did mention and you guys went through anything with them, don't forget to leave it down below as well. I'll leave everything in the description area down below. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!